All right. So in the last tutorial, we set up the collecting, um, uh, the collectible here. But now we need to kind of add it to a score. Now, in order to do that, we need to add in something called a variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a global variable. OK, now global, all that means is that you can see it throughout the entire project here. There's other ways that you can add in variables with just called variable scope, which we'll be talking about in a different video. But for now, let's just add in this global variable here and we'll call this. Um, we can call this a bunch of things. Um, we could call this collected collectibles because that's exactly what it is. Now, there's a type where you can have a Boolean, a number or a string. Number is the one we want. A Boolean is a true or false. So um, it's kind of like a light switch on or off. Or, for example, is the player dead or alive? Uh, does it have the power up or not? These are kind of things that you add Boolean for. And strings are, are characters. So if you want to add in a player name, or um, or any kind of text use strings. And these are, of course, computer science concepts here. So let's add in the number here and um, and let's add in the initial value of zero. OK, so we got global number collected valuable uh, co collected collectibles is the name and zero here. And you can see how it says initial value. Well, in other programming languages, you don't actually have to set an initial value. And in Construct 3, they come out as initialized, right? And if we were in a different programming language, I would say that collected collectibles is initialized to zero. So that's essentially what that is there. So all we need to do is we need to add one to every collectible we collect. Well, that's very easy. Let's go to system. And under this global and local variables, you'll see that there's a bunch of different options here. Okay, we can um, add to reset global boolean, uh, global variables, set boolean, toggle boolean, subtract from and set value. All we want to do is add from collect collectibles and add one. That's all we're going to do. Okay, and there we go. Now let's just go ahead and play that for a quick second here. Okay, there we go. And I'm just doing that here. And you're thinking nothing is happening. Well, then, <laughs> of course, nothing is happening uh, because we haven't, well, really displayed anything to the screen. So let's go ahead. Let's add in a UI here. And I'm going to add in a text object here. Okay. And I'm just going to put it maybe up at the top here. Now, you'll notice that the text object comes up with black color here. Now I'll be talking about the text object later um, because that's not where we're focusing on now. But I will change the size up to be a little bit bigger. And what I'll do is I will add in the color to being an off-white. All right. So the off-white color here, um, you know, is just a little bit down here. Uh, and there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to call this score. Score colon zero. Okay. So what we need to do next is update the score. Okay. And in order to do that, it's very easy to do. So let's go to, oh, by the way, I didn't add in the text name. Uh, so what I always like to do is when I have a GUI element, that's graphic user interface element, some people call it the heads of display. But whenever I have one of these elements, I always put um, an abbreviation first, like TXT, or you can actually just even call it text. I go underscore and I'll call this score. Okay. And that way, if I have 5, 10, 15, or 20 different text objects, all I have to do is type in text and I'll get the right one. Okay. So um, you can either do text like this, or you can um, do it the other way around where you do score text. It's completely up to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that text score. Okay. And I'm just going to type in set text because there's quite a bit of options there. All you need to do is find the set text here. And this is something like right now we could actually set this to the collected collectibles. If I type in collected collectibles, all it's going to do is that it's going to set that collected collectibles up to one, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. But you might want to, it to say score instead. Well, how do we do that? Well, this is where that kind of string uh, came into example. Every time you see quotes in computer languages, usually it means string. 
So I'm going to type in score colon, and I'm going to add in the space there because it's really important. And then what we need to do is if I type in collected collectibles here, you might think that, well, I can do score and then collected collectibles, and it's going to, to print the word score, and then it's going to print collected collectibles. Well, let's go ahead, and it's not going to work. In fact, if I push done, it says syntax error. Syntax error means that there's a coding error. It means that you're not um, you're not making something grammatically correct to the engine here. Like if I said something in English to you that was that didn't make any sense, that's kind of what a syntax error is. But all you have to do is add in an and percent, and you can now add in this here. And by the way, you can do this as many times as you want here. If I wanted to add in another string, for instance, like and percent something it would add in that extra string so every time you want to append either a variable or a string you need to use that ampersand and construct okay so now you can see that this score here is well there we go looking pretty good okay and there we go that's great okay so now that we have that there's one last best practice thing that you need to do so I'm going to add something to the top of the layer here, and I'm going to call this HUD, or Heads Up Display. And what I'm going to do is hop back in and click on my text here, and see where it says Layer. I'm going to put that up on the Heads Up Display. Okay? And the reason why I do that um, here is, uh, is because I want it to always be on top. Okay? So the score will forever be on top. All right. There we go. Okay, so that you can see that we now have quite a bit of object uh, of what well, we can So as you can see, now we have uh, quite a bit of tools in our tool set in order to make games. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.